Hi, and uh, welcome to Cadence Tech. Uh, I've got a real quick uh, overview on a uh, the XAM 600.1 amplifier. Uh, this is the packaging that it comes in. So the first thing you'll get is your owner's manual plus also a registration card. Uh, you've got yourself also, <clears throat> this is going to be your uh, uh, level control attenuation uh, for your, your bass control because this is a mono amplifier so obviously it's going to be used on a subwoofer. Also high level inputs uh, and also uh, your, uh, your, your connections, you know, so you know, two Allen wrenches, three Allen wrenches actually, and some screws uh, for you to use uh, for connection there. The amplifier is uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, it is. Let me pull it out of this nice little packaging we have for it. Excuse me, bring this in here. All right, so uh, as you can see here, the amplifier is uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, pretty much like almost any amplifiers. Very good small footprint. This is a uh, roughly, I believe, it's around under 12 inches or so. Um, on the input side of things, uh, we've got here we've got four gauge input, uh, 12 volts remote and ground input, plus also 225 amp fuses. Uh, and also the output right here. So it's a simple, you know, two two wire connection for the for the output. On the input side of things, uh, it's pretty straightforward. We have two RCA inputs, high level inputs, uh, plus also the smart uh, turn on switch right here. Now the smart turn on switch uh, is used so that uh, um, when you're using the high level inputs here. Uh, that you uh, would turn it on and that way it would auto sense turning on the system. You no necessary, no needed necessity to put on a remote turn on at that point. Obviously here's the remote connections and then of course power and status information so that you know if it's red it means it's you know got problems. Uh, if it's green it means go. <laughs> Straightforward and simple. Uh, also um, here on the top side uh, we've got, um, let me pull this in a little bit for you. Uh, here on the top side here, uh, we've got uh, level control, uh, the sonic filter, so this is your subsonic filter, so you would set, it's like a high pass, I think it was a high pass filter uh, that you would use uh, for, um, you know, like if you're doing a port enclosure, you want to go ahead and set the high pass filter so that um, you can uh, go from like 15 to, to about 50 hertz or so. So depending on where you've crossed, where you, I'm sorry, where your box ported uh, tuning frequency is, uh, you would want to set the subsonic filter uh, about a, you know, an octave below it or something like that. And that way it would help with uh, a power handling of, of the uh, subwoofer. You also have your bass boost here. This is uh, 0 to 12 dB. Uh, and then the low pass filter itself. So this is also a variable uh, from 50 to 150. Uh, and then one last thing here, we've got a phase switch. So this is used so that you would be able to uh, bring the bass forward in the system. So let's say for instance you install it and uh, the bass feels like it's all in the back of the car. Uh, doesn't seem to be blending with your, uh, uh, with your front speakers at all. So what you want to do is you want to take this and you would want to flip this either 0 to 180 degrees and see how the blending effect of your subwoofer is. It's the, the basic over overview of the XAM 600.1.